everybody, Tim Norris here, Grey Elephant. And Carmen Norris, Femme Elephant. Here we are at the start of the next scenario, Trouble in Sandpoint. And if you follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you will know that we have a little surprise for you. Yeah, we actually, before we get into the action, have a little skit planned out for you. And why don't we check it out right now and see what the surprise is. Rawr! <laughs> You'll never defeat me and my henchmen in this next scenario. Oh no, Valeris. Maybe we should call for help. Ta da! We can help you. Let's get them. Okay, here we are at the start of Trouble in Sandpoint, and because we are playing with four characters instead of our normal two, uh, that means we had to add two more additional locations to the um, the play area. So. Uh, Trouble in Sandpoint says that during this scenario, that after a character encounters a Wrathful Sinspawn henchman, roll 1d6. On a 1, discard the top card of the Blessing deck. So this scenario seems like it's poised, just like with local heroes, to try to make us run out of time. Now I'll go ahead and read these top three locations here real quick, and then Carmen will read the bottom three so that we can get acquainted with uh, what each one of them does. The Glassworks here says that at this location, if you fail a check, discard the top card of your deck. When closing, succeed at a Wisdom or Perception 6 check. The Village House says that when attempting a check to acquire an ally, you may instead recharge a card to automatically acquire the ally. When closing, just banish a card from your hand. Shrine of Matsu, we've been here before, haven't we? We hate this one. If you encounter a blessing, you are dealt two points of mental damage that may not be reduced. When closing, succeed at a Divine Six check or banish a card. When permanently closed, on closing you may banish a blessing to draw a random blessing from the box. Uh, Carmen, you want to read off the bottom three locations? Okay, we have Catacombs of Wrath. At this location, you may attempt a Wisdom or Perception 7 check to evade a monster. When closing, summon and defeat a Wrathful Sisbon Henchman. When permanently closed, you may shuffle an item from your discard pile into your deck. Next, we have Junk Beach. At this location, when you acquire an item, you may banish it to draw an item from the box. When closing, summon and defeat a Poison Trap Henchman. When permanently closed, add 1d6 random items to this location without looking at them, then automatically acquire the top card. The Old Light. At this location, add 1d6 to checks using the fire trait. Mm, neat. Nice. When closing, succeed at an intelligence or knowledge 6 check. Alright. And there's no effect when permanently closed. So I noticed that the Catacombs of Wrath has 6 monsters in it. Uh -huh. Not including the henchman or possibly the villain, which means there wow. are actually seven monsters in here, which Valeros loves monsters. So uh, our, our characters will go underneath the pile here. That will show that they're at them locations. Valeros wishes to start in the Catacombs of Wrath. Okay. Uh, why don't you select one of the locations for one of your characters, and then I'll select for Harsk. Well, uh, let's see. Junk Beach looks like a good one for Maricel because uh, there's barriers there, <clears throat> so she will start there. Okay, well, Harsk, what I like about him is that he aids characters from a distance, so I don't necessarily want to team him up with anybody. Um, I do like the, <laughs> the old light. Um, I think I'm going to start him at Glassworks. And uh, hopefully I don't mess up and we have to, uh, I have to discard any of my cards. But I do have some pretty good wisdom perceptions, so possibly I can close that location down if I need be. Okay, well, Lenny would be good at either the Shrine to Lamatsu or the Old Light. Because mm -hmm. uh, she has Divine and she also has pretty good knowledge. So either one would be good for her. Would it be wise to possibly team... Lenny up with Valeros, possibly, because Valeros does aid in uh, helping her gain an additional d4 when fighting. I mean, I know she's not a fighter, but she does fight mm -hmm. well. No, her spells work pretty good. 
Just depends on whether she can uh, recharge him or not. Well, I hate the Shrine of Lamatsu with a passion. I know I have zero desire going okay. there. Okay. Well, keep in mind, she can close the old light and shrine to Lamatsu, but she doesn't have to go by herself well, you know, why don't right she, now. So. You want to put her at the old light, or what would you like to do? I would think that starting her with me at the Catacombs of Wrath might be a good idea, but that's totally up to you. Okay, what about if she went with Harsk? No, well, he helps Harsk if she's helps, in a different location. Right, whereas Valeros right. helps in the location. Whereas Mersel never wants to be with anybody. Really. There are two spells here. Okay. So we'll go here. So you'll go to the old light. All right, so now why don't we determine initiative and how we're going to keep track of this. But before we do that, real quick, why don't we talk about our new characters real fast. Now you've chosen Linny to be your second character. Mm -hmm. You want to talk a little bit about her real fast? You know, I wanted to pick Lenny at the beginning of the game. I picked Maricel because, you know, Lenny's kind of scary. She, she doesn't carry weapons. She doesn't have armor. So uh, I think that I'm kind of glad I picked Maricel first, but I'm really glad that now I get to play with Lenny. She's uh, going to be a shapeshifter later on. That's pretty cool. She works with animal allies and lots of spells. So it's been a lot of fun playing with her and uh, upgrading her to get to this point so that she can... Go through the scenarios with Maricel. The reason that I chose Harsk as my second character is I think that, like Valeros, um, they're very similar. Um, they both carry a lot of weapons, but Harsk will fight with dexterity more so where Valeros was strength, but they both get a plus three, which is awesome. The other thing that I like about him is, is that you can examine the top card of your location deck after your turn, which you're going to see that I forget to do quite often during this game, unfortunately. Um, but the other thing I like, too, is that he um, has high constitution, and uh, we're not, I'm not going to have to stress out about that so much whenever I run into that problem. Um, he carries a lot of weapons, he carries a lot of items, and overall I just think that he's a neat character to try to complement the group that we've set up here. Oh, wow. Whoa. I was hoping I... There we go. Good. Okay. I was nervous there for a minute. I wasn't going to draw any weapons for Harsk. Yeah. So I was a little nervous. I hate that. All right. So are you all drawn up? Excellent. I'm all drawn up. Well, Marissa, you're up, hun. So here's our blessing deck. So we're going to flip over the top one. And here we go. So it says here on Junk Beach that... No way! You already have encountered one of the henchmen. Yes. So excellent. All right. So <laughs> this could be absolutely fantastic. So this says a check to defeat is a combat nine. Now, let me make sure that we're doing everything here because this is all new. First off, Junk Beach, does it do anything special that when you inquire an item, you may banish it to draw a random card? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Uh, we'll worry about the when closing effect here soon. During the scenario, after a character encounters a Wrathful Sin Spawn Henchman, roll 1d6 on a 1, discard the top card of the Blessing deck. So, that's after the encounter. Mm -hmm. Now, he says... On the Wrathful Sin Spawn, it says, before the encounter, succeed at a Wisdom 6 check, or the difficulty to defeat, or the difficulty of your checks is increased by 1 for the rest of the turn. Okay, okay. so what is Marisol's uh, Wisdom? Uh, D6. Okay, so you will roll a D6 and try to get a 6, and if you do, uh, then you're safe. Otherwise, he will be a 10. Oh, so close, huh? Okay. Okay, so it was a 5, so he will be a Combat 10 to defeat now. Okay, so I'm going to roll my dexterity die along with a d10 for my heavy crossbow. Okay, so that'll give you a d12 and a d10. Um, Poog, Poog is going to add three with the fire trait to my combat check. And does he recharge based off of that? Um, no. You bury him? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. I recharge him. Oh, yes. good, good. Okay. okay. All right, so he recharges. And so that gives you uh, just I'm a plus put him over three. Here so I don't forget. Okay, okay, so then that makes it to where you are going to need a seven with a d12 and a d10. Pretty good odds. Now, um, I could. Well, I already have a plus three on my dexterity. That is right. I forgot yes. about that. So. So I only need a four. Yes. No. 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 You have a plus two. Uh, your one and your two do not add together. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So, I have, okay. so I need to roll a five. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like your odds. Destroy it. Come on, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't believe we got one right off the bat. That's, oh, that's boy. awesome. 
I don't know. No, goodness, you're fine. You got it. Yeah, so that's a 14, so he is now defeated. Now, it says here to be able to close down this location, uh -huh. you must summon and defeat a poison trap henchman. Now, okay. what's good, you know what's so amazing about the poison trap henchman? Is that Maricel's awesome. That Maricel is amazing at traps that require a dexterity disable. Because okay. you are a plus four, if I remember correct in that. Yes. So you do not even need to roll the die because you know for a fact I'm gonna get a dexterity. You are going five, to get a no dexterity what. five. So okay. that has now closed down this location. Uh, so after a character encounters a wrathful sin spun henchman, roll a one d six. On a one, discard the top card of the blessing deck. So go ahead okay. and roll your d six to see if we have to lose a card off our blessing deck. But this location is closed. Okay, so we are right. fine. Now, it says here that on closing, add 1d6 random items to this location without looking at them, then automatically acquire the top card. Yay, Marisol so, gets prizes. Roll the, car, the die to see how many we add. And I do have the items stack here. And we will add two, but you automatically acquire a Sage's Journal. So, yay, hey. Sage's Journal. So, fantastic work. Very first turn. Got one closed. I just don't think we could have asked for anything better than that. Okay, so now it is Valero's turn. So I will flip my card here. And now I will encounter... Oh my god! A werewolf. <laughs> I've never seen him before. Okay, so he is a combat 13. And it says here that... Before the encounter, examine the top card of the Blessing discard pile. If the card is a Blessing of the Gods, the difficulty to defeat the werewolf is increased by three. No! It, it, is, it is not, so uh, the top card of the Blessing's discard pile. Oh, okay, so, okay. So we're safe. We're safe. Uh, the funny thing is, is that the one before that was, uh -huh. so he is just a combat uh, 13. Now, it says here that at this location, you may attempt a Wisdom or Perception 7 check to evade a monster. I have no desire to evade this monster. Uh, so, let's just get to business. Uh, I will use my Warhammer, which allows me to roll my Strength Melee plus 1d8. So, I will take a d8. I'll just take his d8. And uh, now, I am going to as well, because somebody kind of got on me earlier on... YouTube that I am not recharging my weapons enough and I do agree with them because my my deck is becoming stagnant my hand is so I need to keep this rotating and recharge these weapons which then will allow me to add an, an additional d6 so this weapon is now going to be recharged so that gave me a d8 and a d6 mm -hmm. I normally get a d10 I believe yes I do so I'll grab that as well and I have a plus five so that will take this monster down to an 8 that I need. So let's see what happens. There was a 7. <laughs> there is a 9. And there is a 6. I think you got it. I don't think you could beat up a monster any more than what I just accomplished. So dead werewolf. And if I wanted to, I could explore again. But I'm going to hang on to my dog, I think. Because um, I don't feel it necessary to rush to explore. Thank you for putting that back. I already okay. forgot, didn't I? So now, now it's Lenny's Lenny, turn. go ahead. A dagger. Ooh, a dagger. So that is a dexterity ranged three to and be able to acquire. And she rolls a d6 for that. Mm -hmm. It's also exciting. And she rolls a d4 because she has her ally with her. Yes, I think that is so neat how she works with animals. Uh, you got a four, so you did acquire dagger. this dagger. Now, is there no way to like discard things to explore? I don't think so. so. Yes, I could explore Ooh. again with my dog. I, I would just have to recharge him. I wouldn't do that because that's what's allowing you to roll your D4. Because you only have one animal in your hand. No. Well, in my hand, yeah. But yeah. I've got two more in my deck. Yeah, but you, I, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't do it. If I was you, I feel like we've already started off yeah, so well. It, the dagger's not that great anyway. I'll just discard it. Okay. okay. That's just my my advice. But Okay, so are you all finished up then? Yes. Okay, so I'm flip over for Harsk, and uh, he will explore up here at the Glassworks. A night watch. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that at the Glassworks, it says if you fail a check, discard the top card of your deck. 
So I have to be very careful that I do not miss on any of these checks, um, including allies trying to obtain them. So this says here that the Night Watch is a Wisdom Perception 7 or a Charisma Diplomacy 6. Taking a look at Harsk's card, his Charisma is only a D4, but his Wisdom Perception is a D6 plus 3 total. So not too bad there. So I would have to roll a 4 with a D6. So I've got more than, I got a 50% chance of acquiring him if I just roll the D6. I don't have any other items here to help me out, and, uh... You might want to use a blessing. I, I, I could, but I don't know. I mean, it almost feels like a waste doing that. Uh, um, because there's... Blessings are way more versatile. I think you're going to roll a four, huh? Well, I mean, I got a 50% chance, right? Worst case scenario is I have to discard a card, but I would rather discard a card versus wasting a blessing trying to get him... But I guess he will let me explore as well. I don't know. It, it's gonna, we're gonna lose it off a blessing deck if you don't. Use no, it. no, no, honey. It comes, um, it comes off the top card of my deck. Oh, I thought okay. it was off the blessing no, deck. No, no, no. That's okay. that's for that. Okay. So I could use a blessing of the gods. But there were, yeah, don't do it then. It's the same difference. That's okay. what I was getting. Yeah, at. yeah. Okay. And I did fail, <laughs> um, which is okay. So he goes away, and I do discard. A bastard sword, which he probably wouldn't use that very much anyways. I picked that up um, during my journeys to try to get our characters up to this point for the sole purpose of giving it to Valeros. <laughs> 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 yes, I am, I'm silly that way. I have so many cards in my hand, I am going to use a Blessing of the Gods to explore again. So I will turn the top... Oh! My goodness. Another henchman. It is another henchman already. Wow. Okay, so this is Corvus. He is a check to defeat a combat nine. It says here that if undefeated after the encounter, Corvus deals one D4 acid damage to each character at this location. If defeated, you may immediately attempt to close the location. All right, so this is a big deal. We must defeat him. Because I will have to then succeed at a Wisdom or Perception 6 check to close this location. So, um, alright, first off, I will use uh, my Shock shock Longbow. And uh, that allows me for my combat to reveal this card to roll your Dexterity or Range Die plus 1d8 plus 1. So I'll roll this d8 here. And you may additionally discard this card to add your unmodified strength die with the electricity trait. I'm a little nervous about discarding this card because I do like it an awful lot. And uh, I really don't want to lose this weapon this early into the game. But let me see what all adds up. I may still end up doing it. Um, now, the other thing is, is he is dexterity is a D8 as well with a plus one. I need another D8. I don't see one over here for some reason. I thought we okay. had another one. Here, I'll just take Polaris's. Go ahead and take hers back. That's okay. Um, I thought we should have had five. I don't know where the other one is. Okay, anyways. Uh, so his dexterity is a D8 plus four because I am using a range. So the four plus the one from the shock bow will actually give me a plus five in this combat check, which means I only need to roll a four with two d8s. I do think that this requires a blessing of the gods to be used, and I am going to add an additional d8. So I will just—it's okay. I'll roll these uh, three times. Do you think you want to add anything more, or do you think I pretty well got it here? I think you've got it. So I just need to roll a 5, or was it a 4? I'm trying to remember. So it was a 3, 4, 5 that I'm subtracting from him. So you so need to roll a 4. I need to roll a 4. That should get him. So here we go. Okay, plenty. <laughs> there we go. All right, so he has now been defeated. So I believe he was a number 2, if I remember mm -hmm. correctly. And then he was the number 4. All right, so let's go over what happens here. Now, Corvus says that if undefeated, well, he's been defeated, so I will remove him from the game. And now it says succeed at a Wisdom or Perception 6 check. My Wisdom is a D6. My Wisdom Perception is a plus 2. 
Well, I on my wisdom is a d6 plus one, so I have a plus three already. So if I roll a d6, I have to get a three to be able to close this. I have already burned up two okay. of my blessing of the gods. Would you like me to use a blessing for I, you? I was going to ask it if you would not mind give, using a blessing, yes. Okay, Lenny will use a blessing for you. Okay, so I will now roll two d6s in an attempt to try to get a three to be able to close down mm -hmm. the glassworks. So... There we go. Got her already. All right. All right. So the glassworks now has been okay. closed down. Well, is... We need to do that. Nope, we do not because he was not a wrathful sin spawn. Oh, okay. He was a goblin mutant. So we are safe. Don't worry about it. All right. So uh, some interesting stuff in here, but nothing that I feel like we missed out on. So I'll put that stuff up there. And if I... I'm just glad we have two locations closed. Yeah, we are really flying through this already. And I believe now it goes back to Marisol. It is your yes. turn. So let's see. Where would you have you a like to blessing of Lamatsu that popped up as well, which is interesting. So Marissa will go to the village house. All right, let's do this thing. <laughs> Are you oh, another henchman? <laughs> Look. I swear I shuffled these. I swear to you. <laughs> Every single one of them I shuffled. I know for a fact. I did. This is very weird. I cannot believe that we have come across so many so okay, fast. Okay, wow. All right, so it says here that uh, um, before the encounter, succeed at a Wisdom 6 check where the difficulty of your check is increased by 1 for the rest of the turn. This has just been nothing but 100% luck. I just cannot believe okay. this so quick. Did you succeed then? Yes, I succeeded. Oh, nice. Okay, right. so he has a check nine to defeat. So I'll use my heavy crossbow. Okay. Oh, I should have... No, I don't draw back up. Never mind. No. Okay. Dexterity is 12. Plus, plus a, a d10. d10. Then I'm going to... Go ahead and recharge this card to add a D6. Well, I can I can tell you what. If you wanted to hang on to that card, I could use Harsk's ability and recharge one of my cards to give you a D4 instead. And that way you could hang on to those throwing axes just in case. Um, They're not that great because I'm not proficient with weapons, so I'm okay. not worried about it. All right. So then that'll give you an additional, or two D6s if I'm correct, right? Unless you wanted to try to get rid of a card. Nah, I'm pretty good. So does that give you two, two D6s as well? No, it only gives me one. Are you sure? Because you recharged it? Oh, you didn't right, discard it. Right, I didn't it. discard correct. it. Okay. All right. So then that is 12, 22, 28, and you need just to get... A nine? No, actually it's less than that because you've got already oh, yeah. a plus two. So you just need to get a seven with it. I think you got this one. <laughs> <laughs> four, five, six. I you, think I don't you, have it. <laughs> so you roll four, five, six, seven, eight, which is one short. Uh -huh. Loser. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So, so you take me for one, one damage. Wow. I can't believe you missed that. All right. So the now he gets shuffled back oh. in. <laughs> I, think it's, I swear I shuffled these decks. <laughs> well, you know, I, I missed on this one, but it's not that big of a deal. Kind of glad. Yeah, we don't want to go through the scenario that quickly anyway. A little embarrassing, actually, that they've all appeared so quickly. So, yeah, I, I'm happy that we're going to have to fight this one again, too. Okay. All right, so are you all finished up then? Yeah, Maricel's done. You She'll know, we could have discarded a... Uh, Blessing of the Gods, and you could have added two more dice to your check to defeat him. <laughs> but I'll be honest, I, I really didn't think we needed no, to. No, I didn't think so either. Yeah. Okay. Are you all finished up then? Yes. Okay. So now it will be Valero's turn, so I'll flip over my card. And he will keep continuing here. Oh no, the shopkeeper's daughter. I've actually read her stuff, and Valeros is in trouble. Okay, so she is a check to defeat a Wisdom 8. Um, it says here, if defeated, you may immediately explore again. If undefeated, reset your hand and end your turn. So, a Wisdom 8 with Valeros is not going to happen. His Wisdom is only a D4. So, you know, I don't have a weapon in my hand or anything, so I guess this really isn't that big of a deal. But um, <clears throat> I cannot defeat her, which means she will be shuffled back in. 
and um, I must completely reset my hand. So couldn't you just roll your D four and use blessings and whatnot? I'll be honest with you. You'd rather not. I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> okay. So uh, reset my hand. I guess I'm not exactly hundred percent sure what that means, but I'm gonna guess that it means that I just shuffle my cards back into my deck, shuffle, and then redraw my four. Does that, that sound about right to you? Oh, I thought maybe you would recharge your... It doesn't yeah, say recharge. It doesn't say recharge. So it says I, reset. Yeah. So, huh. okay. okay. There we go. All right. Now, uh, knowing that she's there has got me a bit concerned, but I am just going to end my you turn. You have to beat her with a wisdom? Yeah. Yeah, I can send Lenny over there. That's okay. All right. So it, it is, I believe, Lenny's turn. So... Uh, well, maybe she should go over there since she's wise, and then we can just try to get through the deck fast. I am not worried about it. You, if you don't, if you want to, you can. If you don't want to, though, I, I am totally fine. That's totally up to you. Well, there's six monsters and no spells, so she's not real thrilled about that idea. <laughs> then you stay where you're at. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. What do we got? Lightning, Ooh, lightning touch. touch. This is an intelligence arcane four. Uh, so, what is your intelligence? Oh, I don't have the arcane skill, so it's not going to do me a lot of good. Um, my intelligence is a d4. Um, I Wait, believe it's I'm a sorry. d6. It's a and, d6. Um, so, go yeah. ahead and roll your d6, and we'll see if you can at least pick it up, though. Okay. And you did not, nope. so that's unfortunate. All right. Um, so, you all finished? Yes. Okay. Make sure you draw her back up this time. Okay, now we'll go to Harsk. Where does Harsk want to go this time? Oh, hmm. I should have rolled an additional D4 because of my dog. Which means you would have acquired it then. Okay. Yeah. Because your dog would have given you so a D4 to yeah. add to that. That's right. We can't forget that. Okay. So, um, Harsk is now going to move somewhere. I do not want to go to the Shrine of Lamatsu. I do not want to go where Marissa is because that hurts her actually. You can join me. I am thinking of joining Lenny down there. Yes. So Lenny and Harsk will uh, hang out down here and uh, we will go through the old light. And there's only one more spell left so chances of me acquiring any of your spells. Okay. So a sneak. And it says here that he is a combat nine and it says the difficulty to defeat the sneak is increased by the adventure deck number of the current scenario. If any. So he will be a combat ten. However, it says, before the encounter, succeed at a Wisdom or Perception 8 check, or discard one card of your choice. Okay. So my Wisdom is a D6 plus 1. My Perception is a plus 2. So I'll roll a D6, and I must get a 5 with this. So, hmm. It's kind of the same equivalent if I use the Lux Stone. I mean, it's discard your card. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I'd be discarding regardless, yeah. so um, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not that worried about it, so. Okay, well, I you did You rolled a five. There, there you go. go. All right, okay. so now I must fight the sneak, who is a combat ten. I will use my shock bow, and that will allow me then to roll a d8 plus my normal d8 of dexterity, so that would be two d8s with a plus one two, three, four, five. So I must roll a five with two d8s. I like my odds. So here we go. There's a four and there is a five. <laughs> 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 All yeah. right, so he has been defeated, you little sneaky sneak. And uh, now, Carmen, it will go back to being your turn. And I'll hey, where am I? Here yours. I am. Oh, no, there Ooh. was a zombie in the village house. And he okay. is a combat nine. It says here the zombie is immune to mental and poison traits. Have the damage dealt by the zombie rounding up. Okay. If undefeated, each other character at this location summons and encounters a zombie. Well, there are none. Ha! So, All right. he will then be a combat nine for you to be able to defeat. And I don't think that's going to be tough for you, but unfortunately we did speak too soon the last time. <laughs> now, um, one thing we did forget to do, and I want to make sure we do this now, is you did encounter a Wrathful Sin spawn at the village house. 
Now, just because you did not defeat him, it does not mean that we don't roll this to see if we have to discard an extra blessing off the top of the blessing deck. So that would be, you're fine. If we okay. rolled a one, then we would have had to, but we are safe, so we did catch that. All right, so I can recharge one of Harsk's cards to be able to add an additional D4 to you. Do you wish to turn it down this time? You probably shouldn't because you were one shot. I will time. take it. Okay. So I will recharge my um, light crossbow. I'm going to recharge my potion of energy resistance to get a D6. Okay. Okay. So what do you think? I think, I think you got enough now. <laughs> now you need to you just roll a seven, right? You just gotta roll a seven with that. I mean, if you fail this time, maybe roll them one at a time this time. <laughs> okay. You'll probably roll their maximum value. I roll, I roll D four is good if I roll one at a time. Two, so you need five more. There you go. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so the zombie is defeated. Yay! Um, so you are all finished up, correct? Yes. All right. So now it will go back to Valeros. Oops, I will flip that down to there. And... Okay, so that's going to end part one on Trouble and Sandpoint. And we've got two locations closed, so we're making some progress. Decent progress. And I've been having a lot of fun playing. This is actually the first time we've played with all four characters, and this is pretty fun. Oh, yeah, but I tell you what, it was really neat going through all the same scenarios again yeah. with new characters. Uh, and we had a lot of fun doing that. So if you haven't tried it, you might want to do that. It is a lot of fun. And the way we did it was, is you know, while we were in between filming, we would just play some more games. And this made it to where, no, we were not continuing the story with Valeros and Marisol so that we could keep the cards the same and you guys could keep track. But at the same time, we were still able to play and enjoy the game ourselves with two new characters and surprise you guys with this. And who knows? We may keep doing this and introduce more characters off and on throughout the rest of our, our scenarios. I haven't really decided yet. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed seeing us playing with some different characters. I know we have. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll have part two up as soon as possible. And uh, until then, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.